Seeing a few runoff elections happening today, and there's still time to get out and vote. That is, of course, if you live in any of the cities with runoffs. 7 News' Ayla Farone joins us live at the Greenville County Election Center with everything that you need to know about those elections. Ayla. Well, people working here at the County Election Center are getting ready to track those numbers coming in from the runoff elections in both Malden and Fountain Inn. Those numbers will start coming in around 7 when the polls close. It's been just two weeks since voters first headed to the polls, and now in Malden and Fountain Inn, they're headed back again. They have to live in the city of Malden to vote in Malden. They have to live in the city of Fountain Inn to vote in the Fountain Inn election. You should have been notified if your polling location changed for the runoff. And elections director Conway Belangia says anyone registered in those cities can cast a vote. Some people think, well, I, if I didn't vote two weeks ago, I cannot vote in the runoff, and that's not true. <laughs> By midday, at least 200 people had voted at this precinct in Fountain Inn for mayor and city council. We need to come out. You know, despite by being a runoff, we still need to particip participate and come out and vote. The same importance before voting is voting, but what's nice here is that you can vote. You know, uh, it's easy to vote, all right, and you know the people. Voters here say candidate experience and growth of the city were their main priorities when casting their ballots. Developing the town because we're going to grow. We have a new high school coming. Here at Fountain Inn, we are having, you know, we are growing. You know, we are growing by uh, in the community, uh, business-wise and everything. And plus, this is a good home. Meanwhile, in Malden, voters heading to the polls will choose their next mayor in a race between the incumbent and a current councilman. Belangia says even after Tuesday's runoffs, the election commission won't be done yet. Not only is 2020 a presidential election, but there are special elections and primaries to prepare for, too. And now we've got you know, more elections tacked on to it. So uh, it is racking up to be an extremely busy time for the Greenville County Election Office. And as for today, if you do live in Malden or Fountain Inn and are registered to vote, there's still plenty of time to get out to the polls. They are open until 7 o'clock tonight. We'll have those results for you as they do come in. I'm reporting live in Greenville, Ilaferone 7 News.